Hello and welcome to this video tutorial about running Pyre Server inside a Docker container. We'll show you how to use Pyre Server Docker images to run Pyre Server inside Docker and to run your applications with it. The only thing you need is to install Docker software itself on the computer and everything else will be downloading from the internet. The Docker images are hosted on Docker Hub, a central repository for Docker images. For more details, go to hub.docker.com in your browser and search for the Pyre organization. You'll see a couple of Docker images available for you. We'll be using Pyre Server Full Docker image, which contains Pyre Server Full Edition. The only thing you need to reuse this Docker image is its name Pyre slash server dash full. You can also use a tag to refer to a specific version of Pyre Server. Now let's start Pyre Server inside Docker. We'll type docker followed by the run command and followed by pyre slash server dash full which is the name of the Pyre Server Docker image. We can also specify a tag if we want to use a specific version of Pyre Server. If we don't specify any tags, the latest tag will be used by default. In order to access our applications, we also need to expose the port 8080. And to access the administration console of Pyre Server, we'll also expose port 4848. Let's press enter and let the Docker do the job. The Docker will try to download the latest version of Pyre Server Docker image, if it's not already on your computer. And after it's downloaded, it will run a new container based on the image and run Pyre Server inside it. The download is completed and the Pyre Server is being started. You can see the log output of Pyre Server in the console. Once Pyre Server is started, we can access our applications on port 8080. We can also access administration console on port 4848. The admin console is secured by HTTPS and self-signed certificate by default, so we have to approve it and then type admin user and admin password. We can see that right now no applications are running on Pyre server. We can now deploy applications directly from the administration console or using a something command, but this has some serious drawbacks. One, we have to do it after Pyre server starts. Two, the application is gone after we recreate the container and we have to do it again. Instead, we will use a different approach. Let's say we have an application file inside a local directory called Pyre Docker. We'll bind this directory into a directory inside uh, the Docker container. With minus V option, we'll specify absolute path to the local directory, then followed by a colon, and then path to slash opt slash pyra slash deployments directory. This is a directory where Pyra server looks for applications to deploy. Once Pyre Server starts, we can already access the application. If we don't know the URL to access the application, we can go into the administration console and look for applications deployed. The application is deployed and we can launch it. We'll use the URL generated by the administration console but instead of the host name, which is only available inside the Docker container, we'll use localhost. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to know more about running Pyre server inside Docker, check out for more videos on the Pyre channel.